So what's the present and future impact of virtual currency? That's exactly what two Senate committees are exploring today in a joint hearing. The virtual currency up for discussion is called Bitcoin, a financial concept new to even Senator Carper, a ranking member of the Senate Homeland Security Committee, which held the first hearing on the virtual currency yesterday. Virtual currencies, perhaps most notably Bitcoin, have captured the imagination of some, struck fear among others, and confused the heck out of the rest of us, including me. I'll be the first to admit that, like most Americans, I am no technical expert in virtual currencies. A week or two ago, I was trying to get my head around uh, this, uh, this, uh, this subject, and where did uh, Bitcoin come from? What, uh, who, uh, who was the creator? Who are the, uh, the creators? You don't think it was Al Gore, do you? <laughs> yeah, yeah. When I first uh, started uh, trying to, to, to understand what this was all about, I, I, I sort of felt like Mrs. Einstein. And uh, I understand the words, but not the sentences. With Bitcoins are essentially digital cash for the Internet. It operates by person-to-person -person exchange without a bank or central monetary authority, such as the Federal Reserve, to regulate or issue it. Lawmakers are now bedeviled by this technology, whose growing popularity has raised questions about whether or how it should be regulated. So to talk a little bit about the fate for this new virtual currency, I was joined earlier by Erin Aid, host of Boom Bust. I started by asking her how well lawmakers understand this technology. I would say, uh, you know, those sentiments by the senator, they're kind of felt all around the hearing this afternoon. I had to run out a little early to uh, chat with you guys. It's still going on at the moment. But um, it, they're a little bedeviled by what's going on with Bitcoin, what it is, how it's used, you know, how, how can you steal it if it doesn't really exist. And these are all valid questions. It's new and its price volatility is kind of off the charts right now. We saw it hit, I believe it was 900 uh, yesterday, and, and now it's back in the high 600s. But the point is, this is really just a new currency that a lot of the senators don't understand. And today's hearing was for the sole purpose of kind of not, not damage control. Before there's a crisis, why not have a hearing to discuss how they can face what could happen with this currency? Sure, that makes sense. Uh, you were just at the hearing, like you mentioned. Uh, would you consider uh, the very fact that these hearings are taking place a big step forward for virtual currency in itself? I mean, absolutely. The fact that they're talking about it, they're considering, you know, the question is still there, is this a currency or not? Is this something besides a currency? But the fact that they're taking place really shows that the federal government is taking the time and the consideration to not only discuss how to regulate it, but to accept it into, into uh, you know, beyond just what the Federal Reserve has today and those options, using something like Bitcoin, you know, peer-to-peer, -peer, like you said, uh, you know, currency sharing network, I, I think that it's an important step for Bitcoin, and we could definitely see that yesterday and today at the hearings. Sure. And from the discussion that you were able uh, to see, did they agree that Bitcoin is an actual currency? You know, that's a great question, because right now, no. <laughs> they know it's an encrypted virtual currency, and, and is it a currency, is it not? Yes, it's a currency in the sense that it can buy you things online from certain places. However, if I go to the store, you go to the store, and I want to buy a piece of bread from you, I can't pay you in Bitcoin. You wouldn't accept it. So uh, there are some gray areas, but it's a currency for all extensive purposes in the sense that you can purchase things with Bitcoin. And, uh, but today, out of today's hearing, Eh, still gray area as to whether or not they have considered it a full-fledged currency. Right. And lawmakers have said, you know, that it's intriguing and they're learning about it. Was anything said about whether Bitcoin could be taxed? That's a great question. Now, one of the things that it, it was uh, Senator Warren, he said today that uh, if we lay too much regulatory burden, we can uh, possibly chase these exchanges overseas, which is something they don't want to do. Basically, what they want to do is keep it regulated, but not too regulated in the sense that it would deter innovation, because deterring innovation is not something that we want um, at all, particularly with America kind of being at the forefront of, of the, the tech innovation sector right now. We have all new, uh, we just talked about on the show many times, Uber, Airbnb, et cetera, et cetera. These are all new innovations. And if you regulate them too heavily, you're going to see them go overseas. And they brought that up today. So how they're going to tax it, that still needs to be discussed. And, and by tax season in, in 
this upcoming spring. What will happen? We have to wait and see. But now the fact that they're having these hearings ahead of when it's time to really start considering it shows that, you know what, you might be taxed. So if you have your Bitcoin, be sure to put, put potential money aside for taxes. But they don't have anything on the books yet. Got it. And, and one potential obstacle to mainstream acceptance of Bitcoin Bitcoin is the sometimes wild fluctuation in its value. Uh, take a look at this. There was a massive rally in the price of Bitcoin on Monday uh, with the value uh, soaring past $900 on some exchanges. Do you believe that this rally was a sign that the government would not stand in the way of Bitcoin's development? You know, the, these virtual currencies, their, their benefits are as diverse as their their cons and these rallies there's so many different variables yes could it have could it have had something to do with the fact that we saw such a huge rally in the value and price of bitcoin yes it could have but it could also be a variety of other things so that you know it's it's hard to say exactly what what tipped this off and to make it go on such a bull rally but it's it didn't hurt that's for sure the fact that these senate hearings are happening and that good things are coming from it in this in the term in the terms of acceptance of this currency as something that the u.s government li might look into and implementing as, as something of its own sure well it will be interesting to see how this new virtual currency uh, is going to be regulated host of boom bust aaron aid thank you